Hey everyone, welcome to Love to Create by Tanya. Today I'm going to be working on this farmhouse style Christmas stocking door greeter wreath. In this design, I'll be using one of those red and black buffalo check stockings from Dollar Tree. And I just love these with the fur on the top. Now I'm using the berry picks from Walmart to place on the front of this stocking, but you could also use the ones that they have at Dollar Tree. Now this was a really fun and simple design and it was right around $10 to make this one and I think it turned out great. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these red bells that I actually found at Dollar General and they do have them out right now so you might want to jump over there and grab some of those and I'm just going to tie these on with that rope twine. And I decided just to have mine hanging from the top there right across that layer of fur. I don't know if you'd ever thought about using the stockings as door greeters, but they're a really charming and fun look to have for the holiday season. Now I am just using hot glue to put most of these items on the stocking. You could always stitch them on if you felt more comfortable with that for a better hold. Now I'm taking some of these poinsettias that I got at Dollar Tree also and I'm going to have these coming out of the top of the stocking just like a bouquet coming out. And I found these white pool noodles also at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use those to actually build up the inside of the stocking and give me uh, something to kind of poke the flowers down in. I'm going to take that little piece I cut off and just put down there at the, the foot of the stocking. And if you haven't tried this technique, it works really well. And you could put as many of the flowers coming out of the top of there as you'd like to. Uh, I just decided to use those poinsettias. And they have several different colors of those. And I did like the medium red for this design. I definitely am going to be getting some more of the poinsettias. Now here's some different options for the little tag that I'm going to put on the front. That was the uh, bells that I got at Dollar Tree and the little Merry Christmas. And here's some of the tags I got at Walmart. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use that little Merry Christmas tag to just add right there to the front. Now I'm just going to go ahead and glue these bells down just so they won't move around while they're hanging up on the door. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use this one on my front door or maybe just hang it on one of my doors in my house. Now these greenery sprigs, I found these at Dollar General and they're really large and they have them with the white berries and I think it's the red berries on there. And you'll see here in a moment, I'm going to go ahead and add those little white berries in just for another pop of color. And I am going to hot glue everything down. Now another idea I had, I didn't happen to have any in my craft box, is just having some kind of maybe dried branches or twigs coming right out of the top with that also. I mean there's so many different ideas. You're going to have to let me know in the comments below what you think of this design and if you're going to try this one. Now I'm just going to add a piece of ribbon to the back of this one for hanging and I actually ended up hanging mine on one of the wreath hangers over my door in the dining room.
Well, everyone, I hope you have enjoyed this DIY of the uh, Door Greeter Christmas stocking. And like I said, let me know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy it, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. That always helps YouTube notice my channel a little bit more. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you do so. And I actually have two more wreaths coming up for you tomorrow. So I hope you check back with me on those. Now you can see I'm just going to finish off just a few little pieces of the greenery coming out the side and then I will be adding in some of these little white berries. Now I will tell you before I go, on the next wreath it's going to be a uh, snowflake wreath and I'm going to use some of that copper color on it so it's a really pretty one. And don't you just love how these white berries just made this one pop? Well, everyone, we'll call this one done, and there we go. Well, everyone, I will see you tomorrow.